Hello, 365, the O2, Apollo, Manchester, um, MA project. Uh, a quick review, critical analysis to camera of uh, the magazine test, uh, which I've just completed. I'm going to start by uh, saying that I produced, asked for uh, the print to be done in two different qualities, a cheaper option and the more expensive option. And without doubt, the better quality option is the slightly more expensive option which you would ordinarily guess. The price is not too much more, maybe about 30% more, but the print quality and the colour saturation and reproduction is far superior. So for the purposes of this review, I'm going to concentrate on this particular version. So the front cover, um, I've utilised some of the font from uh, Live Nation's uh, typeface which they use exclusively through the theatre, and I've added some of my own fonts at the top to try and keep the theme, the Art Deco theme, uh, throughout the book. The front cover is less like the traditional lifestyle magazine. Um, it doesn't have a prominent single picture on the front and a strong headline and subtitles and contents down the side. I've kept it in a very simple magazine sort of a brochure style, uh, which I may review at some point and maybe do a test uh, cover for a different version. So if we get into the magazine itself, uh, the contents page I'm quite pleased with. I do like this strong image of the, of the roof of the auditorium as a background. And the contents list at the side um, was based on some of the contents lists in some of the uh, lifestyle magazines I've been reviewing, particularly GQ. I've added uh, sort of ornate borders in the style of Art Deco at the top, which I think works quite well. So that particular page I think is quite strong and I think works quite well. The introductory page, Welcome to the Apollo, seems to be a success and the peer assessment I got from the three people from, with industry experience expressed that, uh, suggested this was a strong double page, uh, introdu introductory page with themed font again, which worked well in that open space at the top. Okay. Moving on to the next two pages, four and five. Again, this a little bit uh, sort of uh, differences in opinion on this page. Uh, I wanted an introductory page to show the theatre itself, uh, what it looks like for people who don't know what the theatre looks like, and I've given some background information to the theatre here. But the general uh, consensus of opinion is there's too many words and there's less em the emphasis should be more on the photography or the building itself. Um, so taking that on board, uh, I would probably reduce the amount of uh, content, written content here, and perhaps distribute it through the magazine more evenly when required. Um, so maybe expand that picture out. Uh, this uh, headline heading here, uh, what is the enduring appeal of the Apollo in a city that can boast over 100 music venues, was universally disliked. Um, maybe I, I think I rushed that font and didn't really look carefully into it. It doesn't seem to link into any other areas of certainly of the Art Deco feel of the building, so that's something that I will review and I need to keep an eye on the fonts. Um, does actually reflect the theme of the project. This page was again um, sort of greeted quite uh, well with feedback that I got from different people, large strong image of the theatre and then the contact sheet against a, um, which I uh, actually superimposed on the tiled front of the, uh, the actual building itself. I wanted to include contact sheets, I want to sort of um, have a sort of a link to the sort of the traditions, the old traditions of film, um, and the theatre have obviously has strong ties with film. It used to be a cinema, and the age of the theatre, etc., etc. So I wanted to keep contact sheets as an important sort of uh, reference to that point, and also an opportunity to show some of the images that didn't make it into the into the, uh, the piece of work. So I will be sort of uh, a sprinkling of contact sheets through the, uh, the actual project. So uh, the contact sheets will refer to the building interior itself, so there'll be shots of the interior, and I'll be doing that maybe on three or four occasions and take a similar theme, maybe use a different background each time. I thought that was quite successful. And um, we're moving on to, the, again, interiors of the building. Uh, strong use of a single image there. Maybe a criticism that I've used too many images on that side, and it's the, uh, it's the emphasis on the photography has sort of dipped there. Quite pleased with the... Uh, the captions that I've included, I think they sit well on the page. And there, there has to be a degree of information given to the images as we go along uh, and some context to the whole uh, of the project. Uh, this was um, actually praised by one of the peers, uh, um, 
my lady called Vari. Uh, the, the, there was a nice use of open space and the bleed between the two pages. The, the picture itself does not sit perfectly on uh, the double page format, so by using it to the side and, and, and bleeding straight out into the, uh, the top of the magazine gives an unusual perspective and an opportunity to drop a caption in there which I think really works really well and gives a nice sort of strong image of the Art Deco feel of the building. The double page spread, this is something that I'm obviously going to keep doing, I think the double page spreads have very strong visual impact and I took the opportunity to try and get this slightly punny uh, headline in uh, which I think works well but again uh, one of my peers who, was, uh, who gave me feedback suggested that maybe the font doesn't really link too well with the Art Deco feel and maybe I should review some of the fonts, uh, maybe the, uh, the subheading here um, to fit more in, in keeping with the uh, project logo uh, typeface theme. Um, we move on to a section now where, where I really look at the fans and uh, their interview uh, pieces, the interview essays, uh, which means that I do have to introduce in this particular case uh, a degree of the type uh, and text. Um, two or three people I've shown it to think that it works well and it's interesting, and then equally there's the same number of people that think that maybe it, uh, it jars a little bit with the idea it's a photography project and there's too much text. Will people read it? I'm going to perhaps, I've invested a lot of time and energy into the interviews. I think they are interested. It gives me an opportunity to use the pictures big, use strong headlines, um, downloaded font, which I think works really well in this particular case. I really think that works well, keeping the themed font to, to the style of music. Um, so I'm going to actually uh, pursue this idea um, of the fans. I think that if the images that go with the text are interesting, I think it is worth putting into the process. Now featuring sort of some of the more live music, uh, the Beatles, uh, the bootleg Beatles at the Apollo. Everything's turned into black and white to try and um, emulate and reflect the Beatles, classic Beatles, Beatles concerts of the 1960s and try to recreate some of the imagery of the time. Again here, a lot more text and uh, a double page spread here of the, uh, the Pathé newsreel, stills from that to give an idea of... Um, the era, the, the, sh the show itself, and what I was trying to recreate. So again, quite word heavy there. Maybe a smaller font, uh, the, you know, the, the, the body text should be smaller, and I can reduce the amount of typeface, produce more space, and maybe make the images slightly larger. So where I think there needs to be text here, because um, the, obviously there needs to be context to this particular show, I think maybe we can reduce the font, make the image bigger, and perhaps give a bit more impact that way. Again, praised in this particular case, I was trying to, um, you know, I used the medium format camera of the time, of the 1960s, to try to photograph the band backstage, and I've used it, leaving the neg numbers and uh, information on the side to try and create that square format of the time, which I think works, works really well. But some criticism of uh, the smaller images here, they, the smaller images together don't make as much visual impact uh, as the bigger images. So a review here of maybe how I use the images, particularly in this context. This has been used very strong, maybe I could select maybe one or two of these images and, and put them across the full page. There's no limit really to the number of pages I can produce for this in this magazine. I think the print run is this uh, the maximum of 220 pages. I would imagine I'll be pushing 200 pages for the whole project, but I don't see any reason why I, I can't lavish um, some extra double pages to, to highlight some of the stronger imagery. So the black and white theme here works really well. And while we're on this page, um, I'll just mention the uh, indexing tabs, again, they were praised in some of the, uh, the feedback I got, that, that they work really well and they're a strong way of just sort of identifying where we are up to it in, within the actual work. And um, I'll continue that and I'll slightly colour code them, uh, just a, a little bit of interest, I'll try and match the, the colours uh, to the surrounding images. And the, the page numbers at the bottom work really well, they're all aligned perfectly because they're on the original template. Uh, that they work really well um, at the bottom and line up with the rest of the, the layout on the page. The back page, again, was a bit of an afterthought. Maybe I just wanted a strong image on the back. Like back. Um, I just put this image on. I think it works well, but I'll, again, I'll review what maybe should go on the back. Uh, maybe a little bit, a bit of blurb about the actual project. Maybe another single image. Um, 
I do think the image works well, but again, I'll re-review that and maybe do two or three other different versions of the front uh, and the back. So, all in all, I'm quite pleased with it. I think it's successful. I think the print quality is good. I think the, the magazine format works. Um, I can see this done over 200 pages as being a, a really sort of thick, sort of um, purposeful piece of work. Uh, that will sit well on a coffee table, etc. Um, and I think there's a lot of promising things in there, and obviously a lot of weaknesses. I think the weaknesses, if we break it down, are uh, I think there should be a stronger use of image. Uh, the image text balance is perhaps out of skew. There should be more imagery or larger imagery and less text. Maybe reduce the font size, uh, the the font size, the typeface size. Uh, also, a bit more careful consideration when. Um, choosing fonts, making sure it's themed to the, the article or the story I'm um, talking about or photographing, or generally uh, keeping an, an Art Deco font throughout the whole project. Thank you very much for listening.